risk, uncertainty and expected value. Risk and uncertainty. There is a very fine difference between risk and uncertainty and we are going to look at it. Risk is a situation in which there is a chance of the result being different from the expected outcome. It means that we are expecting certain thing to happen and there is a chance, there is a probability, there is a likelihood that we will not be having the same ex expected value which we have calculated. The change or the variation or the variance between the expected value and the actual outcome is the risk, is the chance or is the difference or the gap. This difference or the gap can be measured. It means that risk can risk is an event where we are not 100% sure or we don't have 100% guarantee. Risk is measured using variances and standard deviation variances and standard deviation as we have seen earlier on. Uncertainty, uncertainty is a risk that cannot be measured. So uncertainty is something which is a risk which is a part of the risk but this cannot be measured. It exists when we have no way of determining the expected result is, is using historical information or the other data. So what we are trying to say is we can, we can always measure the risk but we can never me measure the uncertainty and it exists when we have no way of determining the expected value. So we have no past information, we don't know where we are heading into and what might be the result or what might be the outcome. That's uncertainty. Coefficient of variation is used for the risk of each expected return. So what we are trying to uh, learn from this one is that coefficient of variation is the percentage or the ratio. It's a percentage or the ratio between the standard deviation and the expected result or expected return. The higher the coefficient of variation, the riskier the investment. So we don't want the investment to be risky. So we want the investment to be very, very friendly and very certain. Mean, median and mood measures the central tendency or the values of typical set of data. These are st statistical samples uh, or the static statistical measures which are used in the data to calculate the mean, median and mood. Mean is the average set of numbers. Median is the halfway value if raw data is uh, arranged in a numerical order and mood is the most frequently occurring value. So what does it mean? Say for example, this is the, these are three numbers, 1, 2 and 3. The total of these three numbers is 6 and because this is the first number, this is the second number, this is the third number, we are going to divide it by 3 and 2 is the average. This is the mean, we will call it mean. Say for example, this is the data. In this data, 4, which is the halfway through number, this is known as median. And say for example, we have another set of data. In this one, what is repetitive at max? 2. 2 is something that is getting repetitive again and again. So, the mood of this data is 2. This is the difference between mean, median and mood. Sensitivity analysis. Sensitivity analysis is very important to check whether the data is sensitive to one or more than one variable and what will be the implication of the change in one variable in the overall profitability or in the overall feasibility of the project. In a sensitivity analysis, the company is trying to determine which variables influence the end results the most. So we are going to change one variable and try to see the end result of the entire portfolio or the entire project or the feasibility. By running the model with different variables, the company can identify the variables whose fluctuation cause the greatest 
fluctuations cause the greatest change in the fluctuation of the result. Sensitivity analysis can be used with linear programming. Normally, linear programming is used for a, a high level of sensitivity analysis nowadays because uh, uh, organizations have the ERP system and in ERP systems, they can change the multiple variables at, at the same time and uh, see the variability of the uh, or the feasibility of the project. Uh, that's, uh, that's very useful. Uh, that's where we use the linear programming. Linear programming is something that is uh, totally outside or the beyond the scope of the CMA syllabus. It sees how the optimal solution of the objective function will change if a coefficient in the objective function or if the right hand value of one of the constant function is changed. So what we are, what I have done is I have designed this example and we are going to look at this example. In this example, you are going to see that we have three scenarios, three scenarios. In this scenario, in the first one, the selling price per unit is 20. The purchase price per unit is 12. And the quantity which we are selling is 2000. So what we are trying to say is that uh, per unit selling price is $20, per unit purchase price is $12 and 2000 quantity or the 2000 units we are selling. So if you are going to multiply 2000 by 20, you will be getting 40,000 as revenue and uh, COGS will be 24,000 to 2000 multiplied by 12. And the gross profit is 16,000. I have taken the OPEX, which is constant operational expenses. And the total profitability is 11,000. In the second scenario, what I have done is I have decreased the selling price per unit from 20 to 18. And what has happened, the percentage return, which I was getting from 28% to 19% has, it has dropped. The only ch change has happened in the selling price. You'll find that the that the COGS are still the same and the OPEX or the operational expense is still the same. The only difference that has happened is $18.18 .18 is the selling price. And my total profitability is decreasing from 28 to 19% which is a change of 9%. So a 10% decrease, a 10% decrease in the price from 12 to 20 will give you a 9% decrease in the overall profitability. This is a scenario analysis. In the third scenario, what I have done is I have taken the same dollar twenty and same dollar twelve as a cogs, but I have changed the volume or the quantity which we are selling. So what has happened actually is it is having an effect directly on the sales and the cogs. Your selling sales are or the revenue is going down. From 40,000 to 30,000 from scenario 1 to scenario 3 and the COGS are decreasing from 24,000 to 18,000 from scenario 1 to scenario 3. OPEX or the operational expenses are still the same and you will see that the total profitability is decreasing from 28 to 23 percent. So if we are going to say that if the volume is going to decrease by 25 percent, the profitability will be decreasing by 5 percent. This is the type of scenario analysis, but in sensitivity analysis or the scenario analysis, in this one, what we have to keep in mind is we can change only one variable, but in realistically or in real scenarios, more than one variables will be changing and it will be having multi-dimensional effect on the feasibility or the income statement or the financial statements. 